Hello, I'm Zed Survivor. Project Zomboid challenges are something you play to change the experience a bit, something different. Well, most of them are fun, of course, for the first few minutes at least. Let's go over all the challenges ranked from worst to best, in my opinion, and my thoughts on them. First, a storm is coming. What the hell even is this? England? But thinking about me, I landed in the last one of your birds with a bomb and one by one. Fucking bear right like most! Never stopping rain is not a challenge, it is annoying and dumb. Also, every time you start a character, you will spawn in the same exact house. There's only one spawn. Next, the descending fog. Similarly to Storm is Coming, you spawn in the same exact house every time. And the fog is just annoying. It would be scary if zombies were sprinters. They are regular zombies that you can literally outwalk. It's not a challenge. There's just one stupid inconvenience. But at least it's better than England. I mean, Storm is Coming. Next, House in the Woods Last Stand. Yeah, this challenge is fun the first time you play it. Then you throw it away and never come back to it as you find out there's an accumulator mode where you are not limited only to gear you find. Last Stand would be okay, but you can just walk away from the zombies and keep baiting them around since, as mentioned, you can outwalk zombies. If you were limited to only staying indoors, this would be much different. But since you can walk outside, you can just kite them around. This challenge is fun for newer players, of course, but other than that, Accumulator is simply better. Next, Winter is coming. I have no idea what this is, just endless winter. But you have three days. Why three days? Can you even do something in three days? Why not start right away? And what? Endless winter? Doesn't mean it's gonna be hard, just download the cryogenic winter and see what a real challenge is. This is just winter but endless. Nothing too drastic or game breaking. Okay, we went through the trash. Now let's go with the less trash challenges. Studio. There's nothing special about the studio. It's a small map. There's no point of it. Just explore it, I guess. I can't really say much about it. It's not trash, but it's far from being good. You have one day. This is a classic. It's not bad. You explore the old map of Project Zomboid and die in a similar fashion you did many years ago. It's fun, but of course, after a few goes, it gets boring. King's Mouth. It's actually pretty good. It's a small map, new map, a new experience. You can explore it and play on it multiple times. The only thing is, it's a small island. Once you explore it fully, that's it. Knox County is just bigger and better, but you can try King's Mouth from time to time. I don't understand why any of these challenges don't have multiplayer mode, which we will talk about later. Last two are CDDA and Last Stand Accumulator. Let's go with CDDA first, but they are both on similar level. CDDA is fun, challenging, and repetitive. But repetitiveness can be good just because how hard it is. You can try it multiple times and you will have similar odds every time. You spawn in a house, which seems familiar. Literally every challenge begins in it for some reason. Whole CDDA challenge is very difficult experience and you get to understand the true difficulty of Zomboid sometimes. I love this challenge, played it a lot of times and we could use more challenges like this that puts you in some kind of a hard situation. For example, I don't know, hospital patient or prisoner or make the CDDA challenge have more spawns and make it interesting. The last challenge I want to talk about is the last stand accumulator. Let's talk about the cool things. It's fun of course, you buy your own stuff, you're in control of your economy, it's endless, it's overall a cool idea like black ops zombies, but now comes the bad parts. Where is multiplayer? Why are none of these available in multiplayer, especially Last Stand Accumulator? Next, you can outwalk zombies, making this challenge pretty easy actually. After you get access to the shotgun, just keep buying ammo and you will be able to play it forever. Then, why is the shop so limited? Why can't we get access to different weapons they added recently? Like the Desert Eagle, Magnum, M14, M16, even bombs or building things such as propane torch and metal sheets. The last but not least, why is this the only map? Couldn't they add multiple, for example school, Gigamart, police station or anything other than this shitty house? This challenge has so much potential and Indie Stone is not using it. Please, do something more about it. Imagine how good it could actually be if someone put fucking work into it. Well, that's my opinion on the challenges, I think there could be more. My personal request would be Neo Scavenger Challenge. 
as Neo Scavenger gave the biggest advertisement for this game, Project Zomboid, by mentioning it in the main menu. The challenge would be you spawn in a similar cryo facility and a forest, and every house in the world is burnt down, like the ones you usually find. This doesn't mean there won't be loot, because some containers are intact 95% of the time. That's why I always loot those houses in my normal playthrough. I love Neo Scavenger, it's very fun and hard, you should try it out. Hope you enjoyed, learned something new, or um, had fun watching. Uh, tell me what you want to see next, uh, give me your thoughts in the comments below, and I will see you all in my next video.